again grade 1 this is Miss Rukaya welcome back to second semester let's revise some rules and some oral questions for our first week stay tuned first let's warm up our mind with some oral questions when I ask someone about his name or her name, I say, what's your name? So, he or she will answer, my name is. When I ask someone about his or her age, I say, how old are you? Then, he or she will answer I'm nine, eight or whatever years old. When I ask someone about his or her grade, I say what grade are you in? So he or she will answer for example I'm in grade one. If I ask you about your favorite color, I say, what's your favorite color? And you will answer, for example, my favorite color is red. Let's revise some grammatical rules. The subject and object pronouns. The subject pronouns are I, you, he, she, at, we, you, they. The object pronouns are me, you, him, her, at, us, you, them. Let's take some examples. Can you help me? Me is the object pronoun she is not in love with him she is a subject pronoun verb to be in the affirmative case do you remember the greedy i takes am he she it love as while we they you come with are for example she is happy or i am armor i am sad Verb to be in the negative case. As we know that negative loves not. Negative loves not. So, I just add not. For example, I am not happy. She is not sad. I am not rokoy. This is the negative. Verb to be in yes or no question. So, as you know, if you remember, we play our scissors game. So, if I say it is sunny, this is the affirmative sense. So, how can I change it into yes, no question? I play my scissors game. So, it becomes, as it sunny, as came first, then at came second. This is the scissor. And I can answer, yes, it is, or no, it isn't.
have got and has got in the affirmative sense. I, you, we, they, take, have, got. While he, she, at, take, has, got. As simple as that. For example, do you remember Lenny? I have got a goat. And we can say also, she has got a pencil. Let's revise the negative case of has got and have got. To make the negative, we put not between have and got or has and got. For example, I have not got goat. I haven't got a goat. She hasn't got a book. Okay. Have got and has got an yes, no question. I also play my Caesar's game. So... If the sentence is, I have got a goat, I make my scissor, and then I say, have I got a goat? So, have came at the beginning. Can, verb can, in the affirmative Sense. Okay, so I can, you can, he can, she can, it can, we can, you can, they can. As simple as that. For example, I say, I can play. I can hear, I can smell. So, what if I can't, cannot, the negative? In the negative, I just add not after can. As here in this example, he can't, or the long form, he cannot run 10 kilometers. Let's see the imperative. Do you remember what is the imperative to make, to give order, to, or to give a command? As for example, when I say wash, hold, put, slice. So, I order someone to do something. And here we have some examples of imperative verbs. And you can add whatever you want. Do and does. Do you remember? I, you, we, they, take, do. While he, she, at, take, does. Okay, as simple as that. So, can you give me an example? Yes, of course. Okay, and we will make our example clear when we will revise or discuss together the present simple. So, let's see together the present simple in the affirmative sense. The subject takes an infinitive after it in all the pronouns. I, you, they, except he, she, and it. So, 
with I, you, they. The verb comes as it is with no additions. Why? With T, she, and it, I just add S after the verb. So let's see an example. I look. Here's the verb as it says, without any addition, while he looks. So here we add an S. The present simple. The yes no question. I just put do, then I put my pronoun. For example, do we watch television in the evening? The answer could be yes, I do, or no, I don't. <laughs>